Hi, my name is April Hobbs. I am the adult services librarian over at St. Paul's Hollywood branch. And today I'm gonna to be doing a short, quick craft video on how to make your own homemade wands like in Harry Potter. Now these wands, you can personalize them to your heart's content because you're making your own. And you can also like copy some of the designs from the movies. And today I'm gonna to be doing Harry Potter's wand, which has a very rough handle looking. It's not very, decorative like Hermione Granger's but this is like a very easy one to do it's very universally acknowledged wand design so we're going to get started on that soon but I want to tell you what supplies you'll need for today now these supplies are some that you probably have at home um, especially if you craft already um, but if you don't you can always pick some up from the local store like Walmart or any other grocery store or craft store that you might have nearby so the supplies you'll need includes a hot glue gun chopsticks, a paintbrush. I'm using a foam paintbrush for this craft. You'll need a Q-tip to fix mistakes and to fill in on places where the paint doesn't get to on the wand. You'll need some paint. I'm using a raw umber acrylic paint. And you'll need some clear gloss paint spray or just use any kind of paint gloss that you can use. I just picked this one up at the store because it's the only one that was left that I could use. So I'm using a clear gloss spray to set my paint on my wand so that it has a nice sheen to it at the end. So let's get started. Okay, so we're gonna start our little craft. Um, I'm gonna take one of my chopsticks. Now these chopsticks have little red characters on them and sometimes that will show up through the paint and the hot glue. So make sure you put two or three coats when you're painting your chopsticks for your wands. But I'm gonna show you where I usually start with a hot glue. So where you see this last Chinese character I'm pointing to, I'm going to put a hot glue line around that part. And then I'll put hot glue around this part to be the tip of the handle as well. So this is going to be the length of your handle where my fingers are. So you're going to put hot glue right there and right here. And then we're going to put hot glue in the middle as your design. So I'm going to take my hot glue gun and I am going to put hot glue around this part. Now the hot glue is pretty hot. It may drip, but make sure you have something that you want to cover your table or wherever you're crafting at so that it doesn't get on your stuff. But kids, if you're using the hot glue gun, make sure you're having parent supervision. So, and then I'm going to put hot glue at the tip. Now I know it looks like I am not really giving it much form, but this, like I said earlier, I am going to make Harry Potter's wand, which has a very rough handle look and it's not very decorative. So, you know, you can just make it how you want. So if you want a more decorative handle for your wand, you can definitely do that. So I have both ends done with the hot glue, as you can see. Now I'm going to put hot glue in the middle so that I can make my design and I'm just going to go back and forth with my hot glue gun just because, you know, it doesn't have to be pretty because it's just going to be like Harry Potter's wand design. So, but, you know, you can make your design how you want it to. Um, if you want something more decorative, definitely do it. Like Hermione Granger's wand to me has really pretty design on it. And if I was to make one like that, I would definitely do that. But it's really hard to really control um, your design with the hot glue gun. Especially, it's, I think it just depends on your hot glue gun too, because this one's just very bulky and doesn't have like a very precise tip to it. So if I was to do more decorative designs, I would want a hot glue gun that had a more precise tip so that I could have more control over the how much hot glue comes out and everything, so. All right, so I have finished putting hot glue design all around my handle. As you can see, it's pretty clear, but you can kind of see how I did it. It's just a really rough look to it. So we're gonna wait for the hot glue to dry and then we're gonna start painting it. So now we are going to start painting our wands. I am using a raw umber paint, it's acrylic, and I am just gonna apply it with my foam paintbrush. 
And the areas on the wand that don't get paint, I'm just gonna touch up with the Q-tip. So our hot glue has dried. Now I'm gonna start painting the handle. Um, just make sure you add one or two coats of paint first. If you need a third paint coat, definitely do it. Um, it's just really hard to get the paint to stay on the hot glue and especially to like really coat it well. So just make sure you're putting as many coats as you want on it for however you want your wand to look. It doesn't have to be perfect. This is just a little fun little project you can do, especially if you're a Harry Potter fan and you wanna add to your Harry Potter collection at home. I highly recommend doing this because we all want our own wands and if you can't get to Universal, this is a good way to get your own wand and it costs a whole lot less than you would if you got one from Universal. So, but yeah, I'm just painting the handle first and just making sure that I cover every part of it in paint. Even if I miss a spot, I can just go back and fix it with a Q-tip because sometimes your paintbrush might not get into some of the areas on your handle just because of the way the hot glue dried or um, all that stuff. So just make sure you're doing it how you want and everything like that. So, but I am a big fan of Harry Potter. I have been since middle school um, and I have been such a big fan of Harry Potter in fact that I wrote a paper in undergrad <laughs> on identity theory and Harry Potter series. And it was just very, I don't know if I can like recite my paper. I'm not gonna do that. That was like, oh gosh, that was like nine years ago. I don't wanna think back that far, but it was a lot of fun to write a paper on that. And it's very fun to like really use like what you're interested in, especially when you're writing research papers and stuff like that. And I loved Harry Potter. Um, throughout my life and I still try to read the series around Christmas time all the way through and it's just a really fun little tradition for me and I'm sure a lot of y'all have your little traditions with Harry Potter if you're teaching it to your kids for the first time or you're reading it through again as an adult and it just brings back really happy memories and Harry Potter does that for a lot of people all right so I finished painting the whole part of my wand and I'm gonna wait for it to dry and once it's finished drying, I'll add a second coat of paint and then I'll wait for that to dry and then I'll probably put a seal on it if the paint cover has definitely done well on the wand. Because you want to make sure it looks pretty solid. So, yeah, so we'll get back to this once it's dry. So now we have dried our paint, the first coat, and then we're going to put a second coat of paint on. So you're gonna take your paintbrush again and just put another coat of paint on your paintbrush. I mean, on your <laughs> wand, sorry. Um, and so I'm just gonna go back and forth on the handle once more with the paint. And you know, it doesn't have to be perfect um, and everything. If you want it to look more not solid color, you can definitely do that. Um, I'm just gonna put a second coat of paint and then that be done. Some people might wanna add an extra coat after the second coat just because, and you're totally welcome to do that. All right, so I have added my second coat of paint to my paint to my wand, sorry. I keep getting that wrong. But as you can see, it's pretty solid. Looks pretty good. And it's a lot of fun to do this project. But so it has, we're waiting for it to completely dry. And then we're gonna add our gloss paint to it. While you're waiting for your second coat of paint to dry, you might wanna to touch up on your wand with your Q-tip. All you're gonna do is dip it into the paint and just add it to your wand and places where you see the paint didn't get to. Now, as I said before, you don't have to make your wand perfect. You don't have to do this step if you want, don't want to, but if you want your wand to be a solid color all the way around, I definitely recommend touching up with the Q-tip and to the places where the, the paintbrush didn't get into the hot glue or whatever you need to do. So it's important to have your little Q-tip. All right, so now we are going to do our gloss spray. So the gloss spray is just to set the paint and to also give your wand a nice little shine to it. And it kind of like sets everything. It makes it look really nice. So just use your gloss spray or you can get like a regular gloss 
paint that you can get from the store and apply it with a paintbrush. It probably is a little bit more neater with that. But even this is pretty neat too, um, to do. It's just make sure you're going back and forth motion uh, when you're doing it just so it doesn't build up a one part more than the others. And make sure you have something down to like protect your table or whatever surface you're working on for your craft. So I'm gonna take the top off and just make sure you're being very careful if you're a kid, when you're using the hot glue gun, when you're using this spray or paint, just make sure you have an adult supervision and everything. So making sure we're being safe because this is for all ages. So I'm gonna take this and spray. All right, I sprayed one side pretty good and I'm gonna flip it over to the other side and spray the other side. Make sure that you're waiting for this to dry and then you should have your very own wand and it'll look perfect. You can add it to your little wand collection or you can make your own little wand. You can make all kinds of wands and just make like a little wand collection display, whatever you wanna do. When you're done with your wand, it should look very similar to this. This wand has the shine all around it with the gloss and it's a lot of fun. I enjoyed making this craft with y'all and I hope you enjoyed it too. Um, I liked a little conversation of Harry Potter. If you love talking Harry Potter, come see me at St. Paul's Hollywood Branch. Um, I enjoy talking theories associated with Harry Potter and everything like that. And I look forward to seeing y'all's completed project as well. Thank y'all for joining me for today. Thank you. Bye.